This mass is offered for the following intentions. Month mind mass for the souls of Amelina Romana Fernandez, Alfred Pinto, Philomena Delphin, and Blanche Sheila D'Souza. First death anniversary for the soul of Rosie Fernandez. Thanksgiving for the silver wedding of Ignatius and Elizabeth Mesquita, and for all the intentions in the box. For the entrance, we shall sing the hymn. In the Lord is my hope. In the Lord is my hope. In the Lord is my help. He's my shield and my strength. He's my fortress. I stand for I've no fear of the night and its shadow I've no fear of the plague that prowls around For your light shines a lot in the darkness And your brightness leads me on In the Lord is my hope In the Lord is my help, he's my shield and my strength, he's my fortress I stand for. Good morning my dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Callistus, the first Pope and martyr. O God, who raised up Pope Saint Callistus, the first to serve the Church and attend devoutly to Christ, faithful departed, strengthen us, we pray, by His witness to the faith so that rescued from the slavery of corruption, we may merit an incorruptible inheritance. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. If you are led by the Spirit, no law can touch you. When self-indulgence is at work, the results are obvious. Fornication, gross indecency, and sexual irresponsibility, idolatry and sorcery, feuds and wrangling, jealousy, bad temper and quarrels, disagreements, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and similar things. I warn you now, as I warned you before, those who behave like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There can be no law against things like that, of course. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus 
unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Kindly listen to the tune. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Can you repeat? Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Our response? Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Our response? Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Kindly rise for the gospel. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said to the Pharisees, Alas for you Pharisees, you who pay your tithe of mint and rue and all sorts of garden herbs and overlook justice and the love of God. These you should have practiced without leaving the others undone. Alas for you Pharisees, who like taking the seat of honor in the synagogues and being greeted obsequiously in the market squares. Alas for you, because you are like the unmarked tombs that men walk on without knowing it. A lawyer then spoke up, Master, he said, when you speak like this, you insult us too. Alas for you lawyers also, he replied, because you load on men burdens that are unendurable, burdens that you yourselves do not move a finger to lift. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, a priest on his house visitation entered into a home where there lived a, oh, an aged woman. That woman had grown very lean and had grown very thin. In a conversation that woman shared with the priest, 
that her son who was living abroad rarely comes to see her but he sends letters and she also shared with the priest that how she was still surprised and still thinking that why along with the letters he is sending different faces of pe people the priest asks the lady to show can have a look to the of the letters that her son was sending the lady agreed she went opened the trunk and bought one of the letter the priest took the letter in his hand and he looked in surprise then he asked then he told the lady that is this the face that your son sends you along with the letter the lady said yes father the priest told that this is not a face this is not just a face of a person but this is a foreign currency and then later on the priest helped the lady to exchange the foreign currency for indian currency by which the lady's life the living condition became better my dear brothers and sisters in our day to day life we get up we pray we live our life throughout the day and as we are living throughout the day we fall into temptation there are temptation around us and we eventually fall into sin we are like this lady who fall into sin but god is there for us he loves us very much and he has already given us help help in the form of the holy spirit the holy spirit is with us we know that the holy spirit heals the healing power of the holy spirit the gift of tongue that the holy spirit gives the deliverance from the evil one that the holy spirit does but in the first reading of today we are made aware aware that in all the temptations that whatever we face in our day to day life there is the fruits of the holy spirit that god has given us that also what we long we long for love we long to have peace in our lives these are the fruits of the holy spirit that god has given us the fruit of love joy peace patience kindness goodness trustfulness gentleness self control god has given us help in the form of the holy spirit along with the gifts of the holy spirit there are also fruits of the holy spirit let us become aware of these various fruits of the holy spirit and the working of the holy spirit in our own lives that as we live our day to day life whenever we are faced with temptation there is help available let us pray to the holy spirit and thus experience the fruits of the holy spirit saving us from falling into sin Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith and His coming in glory. We await with unwavering hope and so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. We pause for a while and pray for all those souls for whom we are celebrating Month's Mind Mass first death anniversary mass also the deceased all the deceased in our family are near and dear ones have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint callistus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may marry to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, o God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say together, Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for mere we evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you are we the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other happy sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and, and I shall be healed. Let us prepare ourselves to receive Jesus spiritually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For communion we shall sing the hymn, Make Me a Servant. servant, humble and me, Lord, let me lift up those who are weak, and may the prayer of my heart always be, make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant. Even though you were in the form of God, you took the form of a slave. You accepted that even on a cross, so God exalted your name. Make me a servant, 
humble and me Lord, let me lift up those who are weak And may the prayer of my soul always be Make me a servant Make me a servant Make me a servant today Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We shall pray for the relief from coronavirus. Pray, Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. We are glad to welcome into our Church family, Naira Fernandez, daughter of Bonnie and Harshita, and Dania Cutino, daughter of Nicholas and Bolita. Kindly join us in singing the recessional hymn, Sing Life, Sing Love, Sing Jesus. Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are Life is around us to use or abuse Life in the great or the small each one of us has the power to choose Whether to notice or just ignore life's call Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are 